So yes, I've said it a million times, but thank you so much for the support. This is going to be a little Q&A special for hitting 5,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's get right into the Q&A. So I completely forgot when I was writing down the questions I was going to use, completely forgot to write down the person who asked the question. So sorry, you won't be getting a shout out for ask, asking the question, but you know who you are. If I answer your question, you know, I saw your comment. I see every comment anyway. I reply to most of them. Get a bit chaotic. Don't really have time anymore to reply to every single one, but I try. It's quite a few of the same questions anyway. So there's, there's some short answers and there's going to be some quicker questions. So I'm going to start off with some of the shorter questions. Uh, and yeah, first one, what's your job? I am a data analyst. Uh, my age is 23. Um, my favorite game, that was a good question. So at the moment, I'm really enjoying Rust. I also play FIFA quite a lot on the consoles. And I've always been quite a fan of Call of Duty. The recent ones, not so much, but I enjoy that game as well. And if we're going way back to when I first started gaming, Crash Bandicoot, this, the series of the original Crash Bandicoots on the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, I think it was, they were awesome. By far my best uh, favourite games of the past. My favourite food, uh, I don't know, I really like, I'm not going to lie to you, if, you don't, if you're from the UK, I really enjoy a Nando's. Um, but I also really like a curry, because we have one of those every Saturday. So a curry is... One of my favourite foods as well as Nando's. Uh, favourite drink. Now this is interesting because I tend to just drink water. Not going to lie. How boring. But it's healthy for me. I'd rather just drink water. Um, but if I was going to go for something different like a fizzy drink. I would probably go for Dr Pepper. Somebody actually asked when will the Rust stream be. Now I actually did one of those today and it went really well. I really enjoyed it. I told you guys the server. You all jumped on. There was like a, a crowd of 15 of us. And we actually managed to kill loads of geared guys. So that was a lot of fun. I'll be doing more, more of those. Try do one of those three or four times a week. Another question is why are most Rust YouTubers Australian mate? Well you gotta know why mate. They absolutely love Rust. They absolutely love playing Rust mate. I'm really sorry if you're Australian, that accent was terrible, but I thought I'm going to put it in the video anyway and give it a go. How did you start your YouTube channel? Uh, well, basically, you go onto YouTube and it says create account. I created an account and then I just started uploading videos. But on a serious note, um, I just really enjoyed playing Rust and thought, why not just record it and get some feedback on how terrible I am at the game? Because, you know, I just love reading that sort of stuff. When did I start YouTube? Well, this account, I'm actually going to go over now and have a look. The day I started this channel, so view channel, uh, blah, 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 about, and we started it on June the 1st of this year. So, about five months ago now. I uh, know, four months ago. So, yeah, not long ago at all. And we're already nearly at 6K subscribers. Absolutely mental. Uh, or another question was, how many hours have I got on Rust? As of right now, 1,184. So, yes, you can see I'm a big, big fan of Rust. Also, that doesn't count when the game wasn't on Steam. During the legacy days, it was not even on Steam. So, that it doesn't even show those hours. So, it's probably close to 1,500. And uh, will I be doing subscriber events? Yes, I will. We're going to be doing something something similar to what Vertigo did ages when he did like the noob empire compound. I'm just going to go on a server uh, and just play with loads of you guys, have you build bases all around me, tell you exactly where I am. And yeah, we're just going to do fun stuff together on in like a mini series type thing. I think I'm probably going to do that for if I hit 10,000 subscribers. I think I'll get it sorted for then. Um, we might not hit 10,000, so it might never happen. Uh, another question is goals on YouTube. Now, I don't have like any set goals. I don't want to set like massive goals and then just get disappointed. Uh, so I don't really have any big, big goals, but hitting 100,000 subscribers is like the dream because you get that YouTube plaque and I would just love to get the 100,000 YouTube plaque in my room or something like that. That's what I really am aiming for. There's also some questions about, am I going to play any other games like Ark, uh, Armour 3 and Daisy? Now I'd love to, maybe when I get a slightly better computer. I'm not sure Armour 3, if I'm recording it at the same time, not sure my PC can handle it, but I would love to record some Armour 3. Not sure about Daisy and Ark, but there'll be some other games as well, for sure. Along with that, there's like a, a question for face cam. Now, I don't really see the point in face cam for Rust. It doesn't, re I don't really know. All I'm going to be doing is staring at my screen, trying to concentrate and trying to aim at people. So I don't see it being that good uh, for when you're playing Rust. But if I ever do any horror games or something which is much better with a face cam, then I probably will for that. And somebody also had asked along the same sort of line, when will a face reveal be? Now, face reveal may be 
10,000 subscribers. Maybe not. We'll see. Another question. Do you love your subscribers? No, I absolutely despise every single one of you. What are you doing hitting that subscribe button? And then we've got some questions which aren't actually about YouTube. So there's a few. When did I lose my virginity? At university. Uh, siblings, I have one sister who's older than me and married and doesn't live at home anymore, but I still do, if you wanted to know that. And there's one other question. This is quite a good one. I quite like this, and I've got a good answer for it as well, which is most embarrassing moment of my life. And this actually happened quite recently, maybe a year ago now. Um, it was my cousin's 18th birthday party. And yeah, there was loads of us there, my cousins, their like partners and whatever. And we got our hands on a litre bottle of gin. Now, there was only about two or three of us drinking this litre bottle of gin. We were drinking it pretty fast and then we moved on to other drinks. My uncle made us like a, a crazy cocktail that was full of alcohol. So yeah, as you can imagine, had quite a lot to drink and was pretty smashed. Uh, and we went back, it is not where I live, it's a bit further away, it's about half an hour away, so I was staying at my aunties and uncles, who weren't there, because unfortunately my, my cousin had to have his appendix out that night, so they weren't there, they were lo like with my cousin in hospital, uh, so I went back to theirs and stayed in my cousin's room on his sofa, I woke up and I, you know, I don't remember much from the night before, and couldn't find my trousers. I was still on my box on, so it was okay, but couldn't find my trousers. And I was asking my sister, asking people, they're like, oh, do you not know? I actually went to my aunties and uncles room, took my trousers off and climbed into their bed in between them both. Now, you can't think of anything more embarrassing than that. Climbing into bed with your auntie and uncle when you're drunk, you know, it's just, it's not a good experience. And you bet, they love to bring that up now. If we get together with the family, they just love bringing it up. So it's just so embarrassing for me. But yeah, that is the end of the questions. There was probably loads. If you've got any other questions, leave them in the comment section of this video and I'll just answer them, you know, in the comment section. Uh, but thank you so much again for 5,000 subscribers. Thanks for continuing to watch my videos. You're all legends. And I'll see you very, very soon for another Russ video.